Hi, my name is Ken, and I'm going to give you a, a demonstration of the NIMSoft Monitoring Solution CDM Probe. The CDM Probe is designed to monitor CPU, disk, and memory performance for a wide variety of server platforms. Uh, we support uh, multiple variants of Linux, multiple variants of Unix, as well as uh, multiple variants of, uh, of Windows. Um, the, uh, the CDM Probe uh, it's accessed for central administration via the, uh, the NIMSoft Infrastructure Manager GUI. Um, here you'll see a set of uh, running probes on a Windows server in this case, and I've already selected the CDM probe running on this server, and by doing that, I, uh, I bring up the, the probe's graphical user interface, and this is where, through this GUI, you do your uh, administration of the probe. Now the probe comes with a, a set of pre-configured um, settings and uh, you can uh, easily modify those settings by uh, via point and click through this uh, probe's user interface. This is the uh, the first screen you see when you double click on the CDM probe in the, uh, in the infrastructure manager. The, the probe's GUI will, uh, will give you immediately a kind of a point in time short term uh, trend data uh, for CPU usage, for memory usage, for paging activity, and then down below uh, the probe is designed to auto discover and make available to you uh, all of the, the disk drives, the volumes, the shares uh, that you can then set uh, proactive monitoring for. Uh, in these individual graphs, again, these are meant to be uh, you know kind of short-term snapshots of uh, the utilization uh, for this individual server. Uh, the red line is the high threshold that's been set, and currently the, uh, the out-of-the-box threshold was set at 90% utilization. Um, so if utilization exceeds 90%, you'll get a red critical alarm. If it uh, is at 70%, you'll get a yellow uh, or warning level alarm in your NMS alarm display. The, uh, the utilization on the server is, is fairly low. That's represented by the blue bar here sitting in the in this graph and again you get similar uh, visibility and uh, um, for uh, memory and for paging and again equal uh, ease of use um, configuration for the probes if you want to bump these thresholds up or down you simply key it in or uh, click the up down arrows to uh, set it at a threshold value that is more uh, in line with your uh, business preference um, a uh, first step with this probe would be to uh, go to the Setup tab and uh, then select Control Properties. Uh, doing so allows you to adjust the polling interval. Here, uh, by default, we have disk being polled at 15 minute intervals, CPU at 5, and memory at 5. You can adjust those up or down to you know, hours to minutes. It's really your choice. And again, you can decide the, uh, the samples, the number of samples that get collected. This is a key, uh, key function of the probe in that you may not want to alarm on the first instance of a value exceeding a threshold, but instead an average of multiple samples. So you could set this to five samples at five minutes apart, and uh, the probe will sum those five samples and, if, and then average that value if that value exceeds the uh, the threshold that you have set on the front page then you will get the associated alarm the the cdm probe supports multi-cpu configuration it will give you a graph showing what the utilization is for uh, all the the processors that are running on the server and then over to the right you could set alarming for um, uh, uh, utilization for uh, on a per uh, processor basis as well as alarm and the, the difference in processing between processors. Selecting the Advanced tab will show you uh, all of the data points that the, the probe supports, that the probe monitors, that you can uh, choose to have archived to the NMS database for performance trend reporting. So wherever in the probes you see quality of service message in these tick boxes, if uh, you select those tick boxes, uh, when that uh, that data metric is collected on a per poll basis, uh, that data point will be put to the database and made available to you to build uh, in, and show in uh, QoS reports for, um, for interesting trend analysis. 
So here's processor queue length, computer uptime, memory stats, uh, total CPU and indi individual CPU statistics that you can uh, track and trend over time. Uh, going back to the, the status page, uh, double clicking on the individual uh, disk drives will uh, bring up a um, an additional uh, GUI that will allow you to set the the high and low utilization thresholds for that uh, for that drive. So it will give you uh, total disk used, uh, total free, and uh, total disk for the uh, for that particular drive. And here's where you could set available disk space thresholds, high and low thresholds on a per percentage basis or on a megabyte basis. And uh, even further below, you can um, set your quality service messages. So if uh, you want to uh, build a performance trend report showing uh, available disk space over time, this is where you would select that tick box in order to, uh, in order to make that happen. So that is uh, the uh, CDM probe in a nutshell. It's a tremendous tool for you to monitor this critical uh, CPU disk and memory resource on your business servers. Uh, very easy uh, to deploy and configure uh, as you have just seen, and uh, that's consistent across all of our uh, NMS probes. So thank you for watching our uh, demonstration and uh, do enjoy the probe. Thank you.